I'm okay. Perhaps Holmes will find a way to find this bomb man. Perhaps Holmes will find a way I to need this help. Bomb man. Please help me. My leg. My name is Dr. Watson. Let me examine you. Bones appear to be broken. It hurts. There's some extreme bruising. I think that an improvised bandage will do for now. One moment, and I'll fetch what I need. Please. Now, Help. let me apply the bandage. Somebody! Thank you, Doctor. Yeah. This area is unsafe. Thank Move you, away. Please help. I see no visible injuries. Perhaps I could use ammonia. My head. Don't worry, I'm okay. Oh, my Please. shoulder. Help. I'd better call for Watson. Thanks for your help. Please! Help! Don't worry. I'm okay. Please! Oh! Help. Shoulder! I'm a doctor. Will you allow me to look at your shoulder? Thanks for your help. Holmes, it appears the police have arrested someone. Perhaps it is the person responsible for this disaster.
Let me go. You're talking nonsense. Insulting a police constable, eh? That's quite enough. What's happening here, constable? Mr. Holmes, this gentleman here is the fellow who built the scaffolding which collapsed and caused this accident. That ain't true. How were you hurt? This hammer hit me on the leg. How? It flew out from the scaffolding I put up. When the damn thing collapsed, the hammer flew out and coshed me leg. You were standing over there at the time. Oh, aye. Yeah, that's right. So it would not have been possible for him to bring the scaffolding down, Constable? Perhaps it was poorly constructed. Oh, right. Yes, of course. And what made it fall? Perhaps it was you, waving around that rotten stick of yours. You'll wind up getting a taste of it if you carry on like this. One moment, Constable. The scaffolding here has been entirely dislodged. It is unlikely that this disaster could have been the fault of this gentleman. Allow me to inspect the area, and if you could possibly be of use, close off the surrounding section. Do not grant anyone access, nor allow them to leave. Is that quite clear? Absolutely, Mr. Holmes. This accident is a little unusual. I need to concentrate on the details. I must include all the participants in the accident sequence. My poor leg. What do you make of this accident, Holmes? The rope holding the bunting was torn apart. A large section of it is now missing. A common fate. An uncommon location. This horse was blinded by the flag, causing it to bolt into the window. The overturned lamps may well have caused the fire and explosion. A dead driver, another victim of the explosion. Celebratory bunting. The driver is dead. He was killed by the explosion. This cab was set on fire by the explosion at the lamp shop. Might I ask you some questions regarding the accident? No, you can't. Go away. This jaunting car would be capable of travelling at great speed. Might I ask you some questions regarding the accident? It all happened so quickly. There was an explosion and my horse startled and threw me back against those wardrobes. The pumpkins fell here after the sprung cart collided. Those wardrobes fell like dominoes. Good day to you, sir. Would you mind answering some questions? I'm investigating this accident. Are you the driver of this cart? Yeah. I was transporting vegetables from my farm to the London market. What can you tell me about the accident? I don't know. There was a collision, I felt the ground, I come over all dizzy. What did you collide with? Um, that contraption up in front of me. He stopped all of a sudden and I tried to avoid him, but I wasn't quick enough. Do you have any idea what might have caused this cab to stop so sharply? No, no idea. An old sprung cart, which has seen better days. The old gas lamps in this square have been upgraded to electricity. I won't be able to release it with my bare hands. That's it. This technical cab was involved in this tragic accident. This is an absolute disaster. This carriage was struck by the scaffold when it fell. 
This mechanism played a part in the accident, I'm sure of it. It wasn't like that. That's it. Might I ask you some questions regarding the accident? Please. Not now. I'm in shock. My poor leg. This cab hit the scaffold and caused it to fall. I believe I have enough information about this accident. Now let's recreate the sequence of events. That's it. The technical cab's sudden halt caused this disaster, but the lamppost fell down afterwards. So why did the cab stop? There's a metal strapping. Hmm. A 
tattoo. This man was killed by electricity, as shown by the distinct mark on his hand. This man was armed with a revolver. Webley, I suspect. This crank has been turned. Some kind of solvent. A piece of fabric drenched in solvent. Rasco, yes, I know him. He's a small time local criminal. A pneumatic hammer. Mud. Oof. Smells bad. A piece of fabric drenched in solvent. Some kind of solvent. This cab was painted recently. There is some text underneath the paint here. Could be important. I'll need to find a way to remove this fresh paint. Underground Electric Railways Company of London. What a bloody carnage! Might I ask you some? Might I ask you? It all happened so quick. There is some electrical wiring here beneath the manhole.
not seen such a device before. The electrical charge which affected the technical cab came from here. I can see the technical cab very well from here. An open bottle of cheap wine. A single glass containing traces of alcohol. Holmes, I was looking for you. I have an idea about the accident. Never mind. This one is murder. What? What? You? You're a murderer, You're eh? off your head. Are you sure, Holmes? Oh, yes. A murder and an accident, because the killer, by electrocuting the cab, created this chaos. And so this multiple crash is now our great chance. Our great chance? Of what, Holmes? The culprit could not have planned for this to happen, don't you see? And it is possible that he is still here due to the prompt arrival of the police. Now I see five men who could be our murderer. Let us take a look at the map. That's it.
Constable, I suspect three people here. Take them to Scotland Yard for questioning. As long as I don't leave empty-handed, all's good and well. I know that look, Holmes. Have you found something new? That's right. In order to trap the cab, the killer must have known the precise route it would take. Or even, that could suggest the cab must have set out not far from here, in this very street, perhaps. Remarkable. Holmes, I'm terribly sorry, but I must go to the hospital now to help tend to the wounded. I understand, Watson. But don't forget our earlier discussion. Hmm? About Kate. It's an absolute disaster. Mud. Oof. Smells bad. There was a collision here. Fresh paint, but from something else. The technical cab collided and stopped here. The lock was forced. The trail of mud goes through the entire room.
A workshop. Saleable items are produced here. It looks as though the carpet was placed here intentionally. An old access point to the sewers. Mud. Oof. Smells bad. <laughs> 